Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. At the end of this video today, we're going to be drawing for the winner for the car cover for the Jeep TJ. But before we get to that, I want to give y'all a little overview of what I've done to JJ, what's going on with JJ, and some videos I've got upcoming about JJ. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I've got something I've done to JJ while I did not have the camera rolling. It was getting dark, and I knew I wasn't going to have enough time to do it. So what I did to JJ is over behind this breather box right here. I put an oil catch can on JJ. And the reason I did is uh, JJ's got quite a bit of blow-by. And the uh, air pressure from the blow-by would go through this hose when it was connected to the breather box and go straight into my intake. And uh, I was having to burn that off after it set, like when I was at work or in the morning before work, I had to burn some of that off and it was uh, hurting the throttle response. So it would kind of surge just a little bit going down the road when it warmed up, all of that went away. And my theory was that it was having to burn oil with the fuel and it wasn't liking that. I put the oil catch can on JJ and all of that went away. The throttle response is uh, smooth no matter how long it's been sitting and you get in it and go down the road, it don't do that surging anymore. So that was a win. I have not checked to see if it has any oil in it or not. I suspect it does. So let's check that real quick. It's been, uh, it's been probably two weeks since I've had that on there. So. There's a dipstick that you can check, but I'm actually wanting to pull the, uh, the the bottom part of the canister comes off, and you can you can pour you can pour the oil out. But let's check that dipstick and see what it says. Yeah, it does have some in it. I want to go ahead and pull that canister off the bottom and see how much it has in it these are normally put on turbo application vehicles uh, to catch the oil before they get into the intake I wasn't expecting that much It looks pretty thin. Maybe some of that's water. Let's go out here and we're going to drain it out. Yeah, I saw. Let's pour it out and see how much we got in here. Okay, most of that was water. I guess this thing condenses water which makes sense that having hot air going through it and it just right here cooling off and causing it to condense. So that does make sense. So it's got some oil. All that oil you see in there, it would have normally had to burn. So anyway, I think this is a good idea for me. But I thought, man, this thing is blowing a lot of oil out, but it's not near as much as it appeared. Most of that was water. So that's my oil catch can. I had that thing for quite a while and just threw it on one night. I actually uh, drilled two holes through the firewall and bolted it straight to the firewall. So anyway, if you have a lot of blow-by on yours, uh, I would recommend doing that to catch any oil to keep it from getting in your intake and causing problems. Another video I want to have coming up before too long. I've already got a drip of power steering fluid right here on the ground. Uh, my input shaft seal is leaking and I'm going to attempt to pull the power steering gearbox off and replace just that seal on the input shaft and if it don't go well I will be purchasing another one of these gearboxes but I believe I can fix that with a $5 seal 
it's not leaking down here i know it looks like it is but it's actually coming everything from up top so that's one video going to be coming up before too long another video i've got coming up that i dread doing but i'm excited about getting it done is this piece right here y'all know what that is that is a repair patch let me get that here on the ground so i can show you for this rusty piece right here you see how that's letting go i'll have to take my body mounts loose jack the body up cut the rusty spot out install this repair patch and uh that will be coming up in a future video i reached out uh, to uh rust uh, repair patch.com and uh i will give you all of his information in the video when i do this and i told him i was going to buy one and do a review on it and uh, install it and i uh, asked him could i get away with just doing the one on the one side he said yes you can and he said i'll donate one to you for doing a video so anyway that turned out pretty good so this will be coming up in the future not too far off i'm getting getting about ready to do it so i just got a that's gonna be a little bit of an undertaking but i don't think it's gonna be too big of a job i've got a brand new welder in the house it's a flux core welder wire welder so I'm looking forward to using it and trying it out. And y'all remember the video that I made about re replacing these right here. This side's still doing pretty good, but it's not perfect. The passenger side, this side right here, you'll notice is, you can hear it. I don't know if it's this side or that side, but um, I talked to Jay at Stable Seat. He has a kit that you can put on your Jeep that will stop it from rattling and, and stop all this movement. And I can't wait to get that on. So uh, I told him I was gonna buy one, exactly what did I need. He got back with me. I mentioned that I had a YouTube channel. He said, man, I'm gonna send you one uh, for free if you want to do a review on it. And I said, I would love to do it. So anyway, I've got a set of those coming and that'll be a video upcoming. Uh, relatively soon it just as soon as they get here i'll be popping them in because i'm tired of hearing this thing rattle rattle going down the road so guys i'm ready to do the uh the drawing for the car cover giveaway everybody's name that entered is in this box and i only had it was low i only had 23 entries that were legal uh i had one that was from russia uh I had uh, two that did not mention if they were subscribed or not. I reached out to them. All y'all, some of y'all know that. I reached out to y'all if y'all forgot to put whether you was a, subscri a subscriber or not. And uh, most of you replied back and said yes, you was. Some of them did not reply back, and therefore I know they're probably not paying attention to their notifications. So when I do this drawing, uh, I'm just showing you the names. I'm not, this is not. I'm not going to reach in over my hand and do that. There, there's all the name so you have a pretty high chance one in 23 actually of winning which is not bad at all so i'm going to give the winner one week to respond uh to my gmail account their address so if they don't respond in a week i will go back to the drawing board and we will take their name out of the pot and we will draw for a second winner so anyway let's get to uh i'll show you how this is going to work put all the names in there wadded them up all the same size really small and i have one hole in this box and i'm going to shake it until one falls out if more than one falls out i will pick the one up off the ground that is the closest to me and that's going to be the winner and let's get to doing that right now all right guys all the i don't know if y'all can see that but all the names are in there one fell out 
I'm not even going to touch it until I grab the camera and focus it down on the ground. I want this to be fair. Y'all will see it as soon as I do. Wesley Wells, you are the winner of the free car cover. If you will, uh, I will have my Gmail account in the description of this video and you can uh, email me there. And I will also go back to your original comment where you entered for the drawing and notify you there that you're a winner. You have one week to reply and I will get that uh, car cover shipped out to you. So congratulations. Well guys, that's the end of the drawing right there. Uh, Wesley has one week to reply and if he doesn't reply, I will draw again for a new winner. So anyway, I thank y'all for stopping by watching. Sorry for all y'all that didn't win. Everybody couldn't be a winner. I thank y'all for participating. And that was to celebrate me reaching 2,000 subscribers. When I get to 3,000, we'll probably do another drawing then and see what we can give away. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all come back next time. I'll see y'all later. Yeah.